What's happening, Crypto Farm? Happy, happy Thursday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott and it's a pleasure to have you here. It is absolutely cheddar bomb today. It's snowing, it's cheddar, it's, um, it is zero degrees, baby. It's a cold one, it's a cold one. Um, I, everyone knows I'm super interested in how blockchain is going to um, disrupt and transform many, many industries, most notably the media and entertainment industry and how it's going to change how we subscribe to content. <coughs> I think that's the start of it and then it will trickle in to other things um, like paying insurances, paying rent, paying mortgages. You know the, the general stuff, your Sky subscriptions, your Netflix subscription, everything like that. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna branch out from slowly from entertainment. So Forbes are finally reporting on it. So what I see, what kind of stuff they're saying in um, in the article wrote yesterday. I've not read it yet, so we're just gonna go through it and um, and yeah just see see how see what angle they take and see if they know about coil cinnamon stuff like that or if they're just speculating on um on how it will it will work but basically how blockchain will transform media and entertainment as we continue to watch distributed ledger adoption and innovation spread across industries one sector in particular stands to gain substantially from the transparency and traceability that blockchain offers the media and entertainment industry is primarily relationship-based, meaning that creators are often put at a disadvantage by middlemen margins and stealth profits. This has been particularly exaggerated by the fact that many artists are never taught or exposed to the intricates of business, law and finance in their pursuit of creativity and artistic expression. With the help of blockchain technology, the industry could potentially eliminate fraud, vastly reduce costs and increase transparency overall. Interesting. One of the greatest issues in entertainment is ownerships or ownership and rights management over content. The awkwardness of tracking who owns what across audio, visual, and written content has created ample lawsuits and payment disputes. Blockchain promises a way to effectively track IP across multiple channels. Using this new technology, intellectual property rights, excuse me, can be properly tracked and digital rights management companies can access the full record of transactions made. Distributed ledger technology can also create a very practical application for accounting and timely access to profits for both creators and investment investors. Frequently profits are held by either labels or studios and artists and other stakeholders can be left waiting for months to see any monetary compensation for their hours of work while accounting takes place. Blockchain technology is perfectly suited to provide liquidity for all its stakeholders. Although this particular brand of innovation, uh, innovation is only a few years old, there are already several companies making their mark as the industry evolves. Um, we will add more top tier projects to this list as well. As always, reach out to me on Twitter with your thoughts and suggestions. So, music. So one of the biggest issues up and coming musicians face is funding for the development of their first song or album. Artists may put up, uh, may put up. Um, I'll come and get him in a minute. Someone knocking on my car there, there's a, one of the biggest issues up, or, do you know what, it's just proper through me thing, just fucking, people should just leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, there's. One of the biggest issues up and coming musicians face is funding for the development of their first song and album. Artists may put, may put all the passion and skill into their craft, but it's usually the labels who retain ownership. Streaming services have thrown a cog into this problematic system by allowing artists to easily track streams and even launch their music without a label. Blockchain seeks to continue this trend by creating a more direct relationship between creators and fans. Veats, backed by Sony and BMG, aims to be the first music rights marketplace where fans can share in the royalties of songs and recordings they love. Interesting. 
The company seeks to reinvent the music industry by providing artists, songwriters and producers with funding sourced directly from fans. The royalties attract <coughs> excuse me, on-chain and all song rights are encoded. Fans are offered to purchase a percentage of the song's rights, essentially owning a portion of the success that they themselves helped their favourite artist achieve. Sick. Another player, Verify, tackles rights management for music Linking media files, ownerships, data and artwork, Verify's major value proposition is to synchronise ownership across stakeholders in each song, from the artist to the label, to the streaming service. Backed by Lightspeed Ventures, General Catalyst and Kalma Perkins, Audius aims to be the blockchain-based rival to SoundCloud. Audius offers free hosting for its artists, Gives up to 90% of revenues back to the creator and promises increasingly dis increased discoverability and fan engagement for up and coming artists. The platform is already home to DJs like Dead Man 5, whoever that is, and Free Leo. Yeah, yeah we, we know them DJs, mate. <laughs> Visual content and media. See, this is where it goes to Sky, to Netflix, to all the rest of it. Then it, it, it will branch out. It's inevitable. Music isn't the only industry that stands to gain from distributed ledger innovation. Film, TV and short, uh, short form digital media could benefit from more efficient tracking of IP ownership and streamlined fundraising and payout models. Tackling the borderline mafia-esque Hollywood film industry, Ethereum based film chain collects, allocates and analyzes revenues in film, TV and other digital media. The goal of the platform is primarily to encourage transparency in the distribution process where stakeholders can be compensated without the need for a middleman. The platform also allows projects to draw on global funding and create global audiences. Toronto-based Stream Streambed Media is creating a content provenance mechanism which allows creators to track content posted on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook with a reputation mechanism. The free platform allows you to share traffic data with other creators in immutability, um, link yourself to other creators in your video, those who pay to make the video, those who share the video on other platforms, and other co-creators, Streambed Media Strategy, taps into another yet unrealized major trend using blockchain to monetize micro content audience engagement engaging audience engaging audiences is at the core of every entertainment business whether it's film music or any other kind of media longevity and profitability all hinges on effective management and in turn monetization Audigent is a new type of transparent data platform for advertising in the entertainment, sports and lifestyle space, boasting active partnerships with YouTube and Instagram. The company is also backed by a new fund raised in space. Interesting. In collaboration with Ripple's Spring, Scott Brown and Warner Music Group, the company hopes um, to be the first... The company hopes to be the first all-in-one solution for audience engagement and first-party data monetization. Of course, the end goal of audience engagement is generally converting it all into ticket sales for events. Ticketing has been hailed as one of the most practical applications of blockchain and entertainment. It successfully combats scalping, fake ticketing, and allows artists to retain complete control of pricing. Yellow Heart aims to become the first socially responsible ticketing platform. The platform will allow a musician concept value or other event initiator to set up rules on how their tickets are sold interesting the company plans to capture up 10 billion per year in a second half from scalpers and return it to the fans artists venues and promoters which are charity that is instead of the value going to bad actors Above all, distributed ledger solutions in media and entertainment seek to increase transparency and accountability for the benefit of the creator. As a consequence, this often makes the final product more affordable for the consumer, cutting out unnecessarily middleman along the way and protecting the much coveted and ever cherished artist fan relationship. Interesting. Let me know your thoughts on web monetization in the comments. How do you believe we should pay to consume content these days? How do you 
think people should be paid uh, when they, they are the creator of said content. But that is um, something worth worth looking at. Audigen. He's been collaborating with Ripple, Audigen, whoever they are. But he's looking into all these more, um, again, with the lives and following internet of, internet of value and internet of things and all the maturity. And we will... Um, We'll keep people who want to be kept up to date, up to date, basically. And a lot of people um, create content and struggle to monetize it. Um, we are we are becoming more and more skilled at that and knowledgeable of how to do it um, every time. So yeah, that's that's somewhere where we can help people. I wouldn't, and this is beyond Patreon. This is what I'm saying. I'm not a fan of Patreon anymore. I, 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 I think everyone should just close the patrons down and move all the all the content to cinnamon cinnamon video or coil instead of patreon just makes more sense to me why pay five why pay 25 quid to watch five people when you can pay a five and watch the same five people if they'd all just put it on cinnamon it makes no sense for everyone to have patreon it's just greedy and um, it's not fair on the con the consumer really ain't fair on the consumer youtube's not fair on the creator they take too much of the ad money some people don't want ads rubbed in the face so brave and this kind of stuff and coil having ad free or choose when to see them that's what people want but content creators deserve to be paid regardless of the level of content and what you think it's deserve um, it deserves some people will see an advert on itv and think it's fucking shite but they pay 15 grand or something to be on itv for, for so long so it's just about attention it's trading attention um i've had a mad mad couple of days been a long one been a long couple of days um Apologies for no video. Yesterday was busy, was madness. Um, we get to work. Can't wait to get to the weekend. Just chill out a little bit. I'll get away. Should be an advert for DLT Con LA dropping very soon. So keep an eye on that. Just confirming the presenters and the speakers and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. In, invest in the internet of value. Invest in yourself. You know the script. Turn hobbies into revenue. Call it a side hustle, call it what you want, but the main thing is to figure out a way of turning hobbies into revenue and move forward with that. Live long and oddle, guys. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. We love DLT and the way it's changing industries up, especially entertainment and music. We love XRP for helping it. And we love you. Peace.